see today. How do we become a fool with our money? Look at your sheet. Number one, fools build their financial house on the sands of false hope. Fools build their financial house on the sands of false hope. Jesus gives us the principle in Matthew 7, 27. He says, when the rains and the floods come. What's he saying there? Now notice, he didn't say if. Notice he didn't say maybe. He said when. He said, guess what? It's going to storm in your life. It's going to rain in your life. Winds are going to beat against your life. There are storms coming. And if you didn't believe what he was saying there, he removes all doubt in John 16, 33, when he says, Here on earth you will, underline that word will, you will have many trials and sorrows. You know what he's saying? You will have cars that break down. You will have washing machines that leak. You will have tough times that happen to you in life. And so please remember this, because I'm trying my best to keep you from being a fool. Please remember, we become fools when we don't plan for a financial storm. We become fools when we act like everything's going to continue to be okay, that we're going to have abundance. We become fools when we don't plan for a financial storm. Notice what Proverbs 27, 12 says. It says, the wise see danger ahead and avoid it, but fools keep on going and get into trouble. What's he saying there? Right out beside that verse, assume. A fool assumes that everything's going to go well. A fool assumes that he's going to be healthy and be able to work. A fool assumes that they're going to continue to make the money that they're making now. A fool assumes that things are going to keep going good or they're going to get better. In fact, I believe Christians are some of the most foolish of all because when you talk to them about not having a savings account, when you talk to them about not planning for the future, they're like... God's going to take care of me. You know what my mama taught me about that later? She taught me that we presume on the grace of God. Don't you dare presume on the grace. Don't you presume that God's going to keep you healthy. Don't you presume that God's going to keep you able to work. Don't you presume that there's going to be no tough times coming. Why? Because we become fools when we don't plan for a financial storm. Notice what James 4.14 says. It says, how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? How do you know whether you're going to be able to walk tomorrow? I don't know about you, but I remember when I was 30 years old, I was making the bed one day. I sneezed, and I pinched a nerve, and I could not get up for days. Thank God I wasn't getting paid by the hour because I wouldn't have got paid that week at all. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? And so we're foolish when we don't plan for cars to break down. We're foolish when we don't plan for our health to fail us. We are foolish when we don't plan for our jobs to go overseas. 